Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dale Derry, and I'm one of the instructors at Philippine Center for Creative Imaging. You're watching PCCI Anywhere. We at PCCI believe that you can learn anything, anytime, anywhere. And this is our way of bringing PCCI to you while we're all at home and doing our part to stop the spread of the virus. Today, we'll be joined by Mr. Stanley Ong. He's a brand ambassador for Lumix and Godox. And of course, he's one of the instructors of uh, PCCI for the classes Food Photography, uh, basic photography and actually mala marami pa no yan marami pa sir stan so ladies and gentlemen uh mr stanley ong ay ako nilang papalakpak kasi ako lang yan <laughs> say hi to our viewers first sir stan hi guys uh kumusta kayo okay dito na board na ba kayo sa bahay <laughs> anyway <laughs> Uh, thank you, Dale, for inviting me to be one of the speaker. Mm -hmm. uh, at least, no, kahit pa paano, we can reach out sa mga students natin yeah. sa PCCI and also invite new students for sa PCCI din natin. No? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm here at home uh, <laughs> trying to do our part naman. Yes. Um, and anyway, so I'll be, I'll, I'll be talking about food photography kasi yun ang... Madalas kasi ako kilala as uh, portrait photographer. Mm -hmm. So, ang, uh, hindi alam ng iba, I do a lot of other shoots as well. And one of the things that I like to shoot is food. Yeah. Uh, may marami rin akong food. Over the years, I've been shooting a lot of food. And mm -hmm. uh, maganda dito is, uh, I have a, we have a forum here na I can share some tips naman na I can share with you guys na pwede nyo gawin during quarantine period para yes. hindi kayo maboard din. That's that's the point of uh, this uh, broadcast. Now, no? hopefully, uh, we stop them from feeling, or at least, mabuasa natin yung boredom nila. They can uh, experiment on some things. All right. So let's start with the um, first question. Ko for Stan, maybe just give us a brief background of how you got into maybe photography in general, and then what uh, what ever genre of photography uh, you're doing okay um how i started i started way way back uh naman way way back no? uh 2000 mm -hmm. 2001 mm -hmm. i started photography using my film camera pa. Mm -hmm. and of course uh one of my instructor was uh, of course your dad yeah. ano, siya yung nagpa-inganya sa akin na uh, dahil sa kanya, I fell in love with photography mm -hmm. because it was not just about shooting. It was mm -hmm. about uh, ma making friends. Mm -hmm. And yun yung pinaka-importante for me, especially until now, I still look at it at that way na. This is making friends. Kahit anong genre ka, mm -hmm. you get to meet new people, new mm -hmm. friends, build new relationship, and that's what keeps me going also. Yeah. No? So when I... Uh, after after, there was a year na I, I'm from Cebu guys so kinsa mga from Cebu shout out muna from si, uh, mga taga Cebu uh, I know you just started your lockdown recently uh, okay lang yan take it easy no? uh, one step at a time mm -hmm. don't panic guys kami I think this is our third week already uh, yeah, so third. let's uh, let's uh, let's do our part and just stay at home and let this virus die. Sana magtapos na. Yeah. So anyway, so I went home to Cebu for a year. Mm -hmm. And then I was able, syempre, newbie ako noon. Mm -hmm. As in, super newbie. And then I got the chance, uh, local local newspaper called me up. So, Stan, you want to shoot food? Syempre, excited ako kasi yeah. newspaper, you know. When we arrived to the venue, pinapashoot sa akin, isang drink lang. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drink lang, but as a newbie, syempre, lalabas sa newspaper, nervous na nervous ako noon, as in, kinabahan talaga ako noon. But, uh, I'm not sure if nagustuhan niya yung shoot ko or hindi, but for me, it was a good experience. No? Mm -hmm. Maliit lang siya, as in, sa, ganyan lang siya kalaki sa newspaper, but for me, it was an accomplishment already. You know, something for a newbie na lalabas yung picture mo, maganda yun. And then I also had a friend there na, uh, who started a small uh, uh, dim sum 
kiosk na kailangan nila ng food shots. Mm-hmm. So, I said, sige, game. I was using film pa that, point, that time, guys. So, I, I'm, I wasn't sure if maganda ba yung shots ko in the, the, during the shoot. So, when, after na-develop, meron naman acceptable ones. But mm-hmm. for me, uh, when I look at it, if I look at I feeling ko, if I look at it again, mm-hmm. siguro ang pangit-pangit siguro <laughs> ng shots na yun. Kasi wala akong, wala akong background in food photography that time. I just tried, okay, sige, game. Kasi I was shooting already. And that time, available light lang ginamit namin. We were at, in a, uh, sa kiosk nila, and then it was outdoor, so I used available light. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, hindi ko controlling light. So, ngayon, more of, I love controlling lights. Mm-hmm. So, that's how I started photography. And then from food photography, and then when I came back to Manila, I attended, I was a student also of PCCI way back 2001 mm-hmm. and 2004. Around 2004 or 5, I took a food photography naman mm-hmm. under Sir Mark Floro at PCCI. And doon, I fell in love with food photography as well. Mm-hmm. So, uh, one of the best instructors for me is Mark Floro when it comes to food. I agree with so, yeah, that. That's how I started food photography. Yeah. Wow. Actually, pag nakikita ko yung mga post mo sa food, hindi ko alam kung maiinis ako o matutuwa dahil nakakagutom tapos bawal lumapas. <laughs> But I enjoy looking uh, at them. Ay, so, pumasa pala ako. Of course! Hey, Sir Mark, <laughs> kailangan so yung audience gugutumin pag makita yung shots. Eh. Yes. So, yun yung goal palagi natin as food photographers. Pag makita yung shot natin, gugutumin yung audience natin. Yeah. So, yun yung palagi ko nasa isip ko na it has, the food has to come out alive na ma. Kahit picture lang siya, naaamoy mo siya. Yes. Yung mga ganyan, yung mga senses mo natitrigger. You know? True. So, yun yung goal when we when I do my food photography, palagi ko yung goal, yun, all the senses that it trigger you. Lalo na sense of smell mo, mm. yung memory mo of, let's say, a steak, memory yung lalabas. So, yun yeah. yung goal ko when I shoot photography, food photography. I'll, I'll ask you, um, uh, I think, very important question. Because uh, some some photographers na nagsistart pa lang sa photography in general, they think that when you photograph products, it's the same principle or the same uh, discipline uh, pagka nagsushoot ka ng food. But how is shooting food different from shooting other types of subjects? Okay. Um, may, mga, may mga similarities naman. Mm-hmm. There's similarities. There's also differences. No? Mm-hmm. Um, when you shoot, uh, let's say, food, of mm-hmm. course, you have to... Okay, say, let's say, okay, shooting food... Mm-hmm. Meron din, okay, later on, I'll also be discussing ano yung, saan nagagamit yung food mm-hmm. photos natin. No? And then, same as product, when you shoot product, I do a little bit of product, but when you shoot product, mm-hmm. uh, yun din isip mo, saan gagamitin yung food, mm-hmm. uh, yung product photos mo. No? So, sa mga outputs na mga photos natin, or saan final gagamitin, may mga similarities. But, when you start shooting them, mm-hmm. doon ang makikita mo yung difference. Let's say, uh, yung food it's mm-hmm. like okay kung sa fashion photography you need a makeup artist for your models mm-hmm. sa food photography naman you need a stylist also to handle to make your food look beautiful and yummy no? so uh, when it comes to product uh, you might need hindi naman masyadong ano lang maybe props to uh, to to add sa, sa photo mo no, so there will be differences. So maganda if you can do an actual shoot. You know, uh, if you take my class also, mm-hmm. I will be teaching you all those na mga differences ng food photography and from other genre. Uh, I will have I have a short slide lang for you guys. No, so I can. Para meron tayong counting lecture naman, so you can yeah. learn a little bit of what I do. Uh, and find out kung gusto, if you're interested, mm-hmm. you can always message me or you can always attend classes at uh, PCCI, of course. <laughs> Sige, I'll let you, uh, uh, I'll let you show the, the deck that you have prepared. Okay, Sige. And hi guys, uh, food photography, okay? So one of the, okay, here is as one similarity with fashion, no? And in fashion kasi may trend yan, you know, the fashion from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and the 2000s, may sariling ano yan, may trend din yan, di ba? Mm-hmm. So what what you used to wear, baggy pants that before, ngayon hindi na. Mm-hmm. When it comes to food photography also, meron din tayong what we call trends. Mm-hmm. No? 
uh, it's nice to know these trends kasi uh, para alam natin saan tayo galing. Mm-hmm. So, I'll show you some photos of old old food photography photos until yung mga current ones. Mm-hmm. No? So, if you see this image, I think if gagawin ko yan ngayon, <laughs> parang wala na magpapansin. No? Yeah. But that's uh, uh, sa tingin mo mga anong year yan. Of, yes, De- Miss Dale? Sorry. Uh, sa tingin mo mga anong year yan, yung mga ganyang style? Ito mukhang 50s, 60s, 70s no? siguro to. Yeah. No? Yung mga masyadong polish, masyadong mati- For me kasi ito, uh, that time maganda. Mm-hmm. But this time I don't think kasi mas ngayon kasi like panahon ngayon, mm-hmm. uh, you've heard already na yung mga false advertising, so, iniiwasan natin yun. Yeah. No? Uh, iniiwasan natin yung mga false advertising. That's why most of the shoot food shoots that I'm doing now, mm-hmm. uh, this involves real, actual food na. Mm-hmm. Um, Bihira na yung mga fake na ginagawa. Mm-hmm. Maybe you use fake food to use as your background, yeah. no? but not as the main food. Usually, mm-hmm. uh, when we shoot the actual food, it's real. Mm-hmm. Kaya medyo may yung uh, level of difficulty mas mabilis kasi kung real, let's say it gets soggy or it gets dry. You know? so, uh, but there are ways to go around it also. No? How to make food uh, continue to shine kahit medyo matagal na. That's why it's nice to have a food stylist with you to help you out with that. You know? yeah. And another photo, packaging naman nila. So, ayan. You know? I don't think you see mga ganitong packaging also uh, mm-hmm. sa mga shelves. Mm-hmm. So, another photo. Another set of photos. So, you can see, from the first photo that I showed mm-hmm. until ito, nakita mo, may dandaan nag-iiba. Yeah. Yes. Naiiba yung feel, naiiba yung styling. Yeah. Yung itong with the corn, medyo, medyo magulo na. Mm-hmm. Hindi na masyadong polish, hindi na masyadong ano, uh, ayos na ayos. May yeah. kalat na konti. Mm-hmm. You know? And then, ito, napansin nyo, mm-hmm. it's another feel naman. Mas medyo modern na. na, na mas na, naiintindihan nito yung mga ganito, yung mga uh, messy, yeah. organized but messy na look, yung mga Parang ganyan. Tapos, rustic, uh, no? Very playing rustic. with uh, light. Mm-hmm. No? The lighting is there also. No? Okay. Compared to the previous photos that I showed, in lighting dito mas dito may dramatic shot na no? mas may uh, uh, high key and low key photos already so mas uh, yung uh, yung the way we shoot nag-iiba din mm-hmm. and of course another photo ayan so meron ng mga uh, ano tawag dito yung uh, focus mm-hmm. no yung depth of field no if you if you notice yung mga previous shoots, mga puro sharp all the way. Ngayon, we can play around as may artistic freedom na tayo to do this kind of shoots. No? But I think this is also a trend. Yung mga uh, ganitong klaseng focusing, I think this is just mga recently lang to eh. And then I think nagkaroon din ng thread na puro top shot ang nakikita ko. Mm-hmm. Top shot means your yes. camera is over the food, no? Yeah. So that's also a trend. So all this, maganda na napapansin mo. Mm-hmm. Go around the restaurants. If you go around the mall, you can see a lot of, ako napapansin ko yung mga top shots nga uso yun. Yeah. No? Uh, ang, ang tapos yung mga ganito mga, na, yes, Ms. Dale? Yeah, ang tawag ng mga bata ngayon sa top shot is flat lay. So, we also call flat it lay, flat yes. lay. <laughs> yes, may mga terminology also, guys, that you, you know, Malaman mo kung anong panahon kami yeah. nagsushoot tsaka yung mga baguhan. <laughs> so, but there are terminology also na kailangan yung malaman. Kasi kung hindi, especially when you're talking to a client, yeah. baka ang flat lane hindi nila maintindihan. Yes. No? Uh, so, top shot or overhead, mm-hmm. yung mga ganun. So, you have to understand also the terminology that's being used. Mm-hmm. Yung mga slangs, no? Yeah. It might not be a professional, baka mga slangs dyan, marami na. Mm-hmm. May mga ibang 
mga terms na rin minsan hindi ko nagagets I have to ask pero minsan nahihiya ako magtanong kasi <laughs> bakit hindi ko alam yun ba mga slangs na sila yeah. it's 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 also good to ask no what can we magtanong yes. right from the start when I'm talking to clients or stylists bago magshoot I ask na kahit for example mm-hmm. things that I don't understand better mm-hmm. ask it bago magshoot kasi mm-hmm. baka hindi kayo nagkaintindihan yes. no so Please don't be, uh, don't be shy to ask. Yeah. Normal lang yun, di mo maintindihan. Mm-hmm. No? And it's always learn something. Learn you learn something during every shoot. I learn, I learn a lot. Even now talking to you guys, I'm sure meron ako makukuha, mapipick up kahit pa paano, no? Uh, so ayun. So yun yung importante for me is a trend. Yeah. Uh, ngayon, even the food, may mga trends. Di ba? May time na uso yung mga uh, zagu. Ngayon, yeah. milk tea. Mm-hmm. Mas nagkaroon din yan. Uh, ngayon is, I just made the coffee earlier. <laughs> uso yan ngayon <laughs> kasi lahat na quarantine. <laughs> no? So, it's nice to, I mean, it's fun for this trend to have. Yeah. Even in shooting, even uh, mga, the way photographers edit photos, may trend din yun eh. No? So, you will you will find out, let's say, there was a trend sa wedding. Mm-hmm. Kahit hindi genre ko, look, hindi genre natin, it's nice to learn also from other genre. Yeah. Let's say, there was a time when, sa wedding, uso yung mga HDR effect. Yes. Naging trend din yun. Yeah. No? So, in, uh, so ngayon, nawala, nawala ng trend na yun. Ngayon mm-hmm. is yung orange and teal look. Mm-hmm. No? Yeah. Pero, nawawala din. So, there are trends. Uh, what happens with trends kasi your photos will be dated mm-hmm. eventually so it comes back mas maganda pa rin yung mga classic looks personally I still love the classic lighting classic look classic mm-hmm. color mm-hmm. But, but I'm not saying mali yung trend yeah. maganda to be part of the trend yes. to know to understand why ganon uso yung trend no? uh, mm-hmm. at the same time of course we want our cl- photos to have the classic look pa rin yeah. and Sir Stan my next question is uh for non-professional photographers, what's the ano ba yung minimum equipment requirement para mag para meron kang magandang food photo? Kailangan ko bang like ako? I'm not a food photographer. Uh, hindi na ba ako pwede mag-shoot because I don't have uh, the equipment or yeah, what's the minimum equipment requirement? Okay. Uh, sa okay. Maganda yan, like, say ngayon, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah. We're under quarantine. And then, my equipment, nas, wala dito with me. So, mm-hmm. I have very minimal equipment with me. But, palaging sinasabi na kasi mga, not just for food photography, mm-hmm. even, let's say, doing portrait, parang, kasi maganda kasi equipment nyo. Mm-hmm. No? Maganda kasi equipment nyo, maganda ilo, wala ako noon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't believe that. Kasi, number one is, this is also, coming from your dad, <laughs> na basta may ilaw, we can shoot. Yun na, is balaging sinasabi ng mga tao na uh, malakong equipment, no? Mm-hmm. So, number one is, meron naman tayo siguro malahat bintana sa bahay, mm-hmm. no? So, we can start with that. Available light. And I told you when I introduced myself, when I started, nasa labas na ako ng kiosk. So, mm-hmm. I was using araw, no? So, mm-hmm. if, if, if wala kang equipment, you can always use available light. Mm-hmm. And then, let's say, wala ka pang equipment. Mm-hmm. No? As, um, like, Miss Dale, she uses smart photo- a smartphone photography. Yeah. No? Our phone, everybody has a phone nowadays. Yeah. No, you can also try using your smartphone to mm-hmm. take, ma- para ma-feel nyo lang if you like food photography. Of course, there's limitation when it comes to mga uh, lenses, mm-hmm. no? Uh, also, other equipment that when you do advanced naman, mm-hmm you need to up your gear also. Kasi palagi sinasabi, number one, kasi palagi sinasabi, it's skills versus gears. I always tell people na it's not versus. No? Skills and gears go hand in hand. No? So if you think na your your skill level is going up and then you need your equipments, medyo bitin na, no? I mean, you, say, you graduate ka na sa kit lens, then I, I encourage you to go buy lenses na bagay sa shoot mo mm-hmm. no uh, but please guys uh, the kit lens maraming maraming siguro diyan when they buy yung kit lens tinatabi 
Mm-hmm. Kit lens for me is a very good good general purpose lens. Mm-hmm. If you're not yet sure kung ano ka anong genre gusto mo shoot, mm-hmm. uh, kit lens is the best way to ano. Let's say you've been shooting around. Pansinin mo lang if saang saang uh, focal length ka palaging ginagamit. Let's say if mapapansin mo palagi ka nasa wide as bitin na. Mm-hmm. So when you uh, upgrade your gear, alam mo na you want wider lens. Or if you've been shooting portrait, bitin na yung 55mm mo na sa zoom kit lens, you can upgrade na to a longer lens. Mm-hmm. Longer focal length. Sir Stan, may isang question kanina. I think it's uh, from Sir Renato. Uh, kung kunyari, uh, you're ready to plunge in uh, to food photography and you want to inv- invest in the ideal, ideal uh, lens, What's the uh, ideal lens for professional food photography? Okay, when I started, even in portrait and uh, and food, like even in portrait, I love using my uh, 24 to 105 lens. Mm-hmm. No, so now I use my equivalent to 24 to 120 lens. Mm-hmm. Yung madalas ginagamit ko. Mm-hmm. No. A problem with that is that that lens has a maximum opening only of f4. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want shallow depth of field, that you bit in yon. No? But f4 is for me is good enough already for even for food photography. But still, mm-hmm. if you want more shallow depth of field, especially shooting portrait or gusto mo yung, yung focal, uh, focus mo is on certain part of the of the of the food. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I. I also use uh, a macro lens, 45 mm, 90 mm equivalent, mm-hmm. or the 100 mm or 105 mm equivalent mm-hmm. lens, no? Yes. Because the, they can go macro, so you can go closer to your food, mm-hmm. uh, and then you uh, wala masyadong distortion. Mm-hmm. So, in avoid natin from distortion, because one, so if it's distorted, baka false advertising yun. When you go closer sa wide lens, mukhang malaki yung serving. And then, pag nakita ng actual, uh, ganun lang pala kaliit, tas yung photo mo mukhang laki-laki because it was distorted. So, iniwasan natin yan, no? Yeah. Unless, yun yung purpose mo, mukhang malaki, but yeah. you can go ahead, no? Um, another thing is, I also use wider lens when I have to include people mm-hmm. in food photography. Mm-hmm. Food photography doesn't mean only just the food. Mm-hmm. But you can include, let's say, what if you need photo of a hand or the chef mm-hmm. with the food. That's also food photography na medyo may konting portrait na rin, mm-hmm. but it's still food photography for me. You have to make the food look nice and of course your subject, the, the chef, look nice as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, for if it comes to food lang, food alone, I'm happy at the longer focal lengths. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll just recap uh, what you said about Especially the part about uh, lenses, no. So you're for this is for particularly uh, commercial purpose, no. So commercial purpose na food photography. You tend to go for telephoto lenses like uh, 100 mm macro because uh, number one iniwasan, especially for commercial uh, photos ng food would be the distortion. Uh, so if, if they're ready to to invest in that because they think that they're going gearing towards uh, commercial food photography, then that's the uh, one of the lenses that they can invest in. Tama ba? Correct, 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 correct. What techniques can you share to our viewers? Uh, kahit na hindi sila professional photographers, no? Pero kunyari, food blogger and or mahilig lang talaga sila mag-picture ng food or at least uh, maganda tingnan sa Instagram yung yung photos nila or let's say they're a restaurant owner or they're selling food uh, and they're selling online what techniques can you share with them so that they get delicious looking food okay i have a couple of tricks i can uh, no, no. So, number one is look for good light Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's say if you're shooting your, your Instagram, Instagram, um, yeah. influencer, yeah. You know, uh, or a vlogger, mm-hmm. I suggest go look for a nice light. Look for, let's say, a restaurant na medyo malaki window yeah. or may window sa bandang window. Mm-hmm. Go because mas may natural light mas tama. Yeah. That's my second 
uh, advice is yung color ng food. Mm. No? Uh, kasi if you use artificial light, especially sa restaurant, mixed lighting yan. May warm light minsan, yeah. o minsan may mga iba-ibang kulay. Mm-hmm. So, tumatama yan sa food. Yeah. No? So, iba yung kulay ng food. Hindi siya yung actual color. For me, you have to get the real color of the food. No? Yeah. Para mas ma-feel nyo na uh, makita nyo yung actual, important for me kasi yung actual color. If the brown is brown, mm-hmm. the chocolate has, the rice is white, mm-hmm. no? So, and then, lastly is, uh, if you're shooting with a background, mm-hmm. make sure malinis yung background. Hindi, dis, uh, hindi distracting. The background and the props around surrounding the food. Mm-hmm. Yun ang three tips na pwede nyo start okay. using. No? Uh, hindi magulo. Clean up the mm-hmm. table a little bit. Position some glasses behind. No? And then, avoid distraction sa mga likod. Mm-hmm. No? So, if you can do that, I think you have a better photo than just like a snapshot. Lang. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just continue. Yeah. Kung saan nagagamit yung mga food photos na sinurit ko. Yeah, no? go ahead. Uh, there you go. So saan, uh, saan nagagamit yung mga photos natin? No? So there are editorial, packaging, mm-hmm. ano, uh, advertising, uh, blog, blog, sa menu, sa books. So these are some. No? So there are some of the... There. Some of the possible final output na mga foods na food shots natin. So these are samples of, of course, menu. Mm-hmm. So you have to understand also your menu like this one. You don't really need a lot of props because they drop out nila yung photos mm-hmm. and then they lay it out. Uh, when I work with with like mga menus or any project, I always look for the art director. Mm-hmm. No, kasi sila yung may vision kung ano yung ano yung final uh, may layout na yan sila eh. minsan they already have the layout we just need to put in the photos mm-hmm. no, if the layout requires me to shoot vertical or horizontal I do that if the if alam ko magda drop out I just shoot it on plain background mm-hmm. so I want to find out kasi if magulo yung background mo magagalit yung mga artist sa'yo they drop out na nga ito gulo na background so we want our also we want them to feel na it's we want their job be easier also. Mm-hmm. Now, as photographers, we can do that. I say like this one, uh, drop out the man, so I just shot it on a plain background, on the table lang na malinis, and then that's it. Yeah. Uh, same as this one. There, ito, uh, initially we lay it out sa table, and then the layout ng menu mm-hmm. is naka-circle, like napansin nyo. Mm-hmm. So, Again, I had to talk to the artist or the art director. Uh, this is a book that we had, medyo talat siya, but this was one shot only. Mm-hmm. No? This was way back pa 2013, medyo magpagal-pagal na to. Uh, so, ito yung cover na gusto namin, Mar- maraming mga elements. And then this was not even drop out, this was actual photo na. Mm-hmm. Ginawa namin, mas mabilis. No? So, mas maganda yun. if you work with the artist, alam na niya yung vision, so, at least you work with him. Uh, also, another thing that pala, guys, uh, I know gusto nat- we have our own style, mm-hmm. we have our own artistic expression, but mm-hmm. sometimes when we have clients, mm-hmm. we have to work together. Yeah. Hindi pwede na, ay, hindi ko style yan, I will shoot my own style. Mm-hmm. Hindi bagay sa theme ng client mo. And especially if it's already be a campaign that has been running and then biglang isising it ka nila to shoot tas iba yung style papakita mo. Mm-hmm. Or baka, Hindi mo alam paano ishoot yet, so we have to be very, very versatile also. So we have to understand where what our shot, where our shoot will be used, and if uh, saan saan tayo pwede mag add ng artistic side natin, or we need to follow the pegs that the client has for us. So here, magazine covers. This is where, sure, sometimes when I shoot restaurants or cover. Aside from shooting their food, I need to shoot people. Mm-hmm. So it's nice to know how, how to shoot portrait as well kasi madalas kasama yan. Kasama si chef sa photo, kasama yung owner ng restaurant sa photo, uh, kasama some of the maybe, maybe uh, customers sa photo. So it's nice to learn also a little bit of portrait. And of course here, this was the hanging pretzel, the Oktoberfest. This was... Wala tong ano. 
hindi drop out yan. <laughs> Nakahang talaga yung bread na yan. No? So, uh, maganda if you have a team na who has, who's willing to play around also with you. Play around not meaning yung naglalaro kami. No? Parang open din to, to doing stuff na different. So, this was a hanging. Hinang talaga namin yan. So, I had, we just deleted yung string. Okay. So it's just one shot, one image lang yan, guys. No, so it's nice to, no, it's nice to be versatile also. So this is also magazine. This was for Rustans, mm -hmm. and then here, see when we started. Actually, this is already midway. Yung itong layout na to. Mm -hmm. This was midway of the Sanchival publication. Mm -hmm. No, so if mapansin mo the next slide, iba yung style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No? So, kita mo iba yung style. Yeah. So, why? Because we adapt. Mm -hmm. You have to adapt. There's new trends naman. New, no? So, yung mga ganung layouts, bago. So, we have to adapt. The way I shoot, yung ito, medyo bright and soft lighting. Mm -hmm. Yung sa pretzel, medyo dark. No? So, we have to adapt. So, through the years, hindi, lang, hindi ka pwede maging stagnant. Kasi if sometimes sobrang pare-parehas na yung shoot mo. Mm -hmm. Parang, oops, ah, alam mo na, eh, ganun lang shoot ni no, no. So, try to do something different. Mm -hmm. Even in my portrait, I love shooting kids. I try to come out with something different mm -hmm. every year if possible. No? Yeah. Uh, mahirap yan kasi you have to think na parang ano bang something different kasi madalas ginawa na ng lahat eh. Go online, kita mo ang dami-dami ng mga styles. No? So, you have to come out with something unique. And ito yung sa San Shrival. Ito yung one of the things na parang, oh, ganda nito ah. Bago mm -hmm. naman. Something new for the audience. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And then, of course, you do books. Books naman iba. You have to talk kasi each page, each page that you do has their own layout. Mm -hmm. And may center, may spread pa yan, may ano pa yan. So, uh, and also, this book, cookbook. Mm -hmm. If you're doing cookbooks naman, it's not a one-day shoot. It took us uh, three months to do this shoot kasi iba-iba yung dishes. I came from different provinces. Uh, and the important thing is sa loob, dapat consistent yung feel. No? If you cannot maintain a consistency din minsan, ang pangit eh, when you scan through the book, mm -hmm. tapos biglang, oops, bakit may, puro soft light, tapos biglang, oops, bakit may hard light dito? Mm -hmm. no? So it has to have consistency also, especially if you're doing a book. Maybe in magazine po, then the next month you can try something different, but uh, when it comes to doing books, it has to have a consistent feel you know, all throughout the book. Okay, so yun. So, doon nagagamit yung mga food photos ko. Merong ano, tanong si Mary Joy uh, Ranes. Okay. So, actually, yung isa nasagot mo na, best lenses for food photography, no? Uh, but yung follow-up question niya, uh, because she does, I think she does uh, both photo and video. So, what's okay. a good lens daw for both photo and video for food? Okay. Honestly, hindi ako malakas sa video. I'm just starting out doing video. I'm still trying to find out for myself. See, mm -hmm. I want to learn then when it comes to video. Mm -hmm. um, di pa, wala pa ako masyado. Maybe this year or next year, I'll be coming out with some vlogs on food photography. Mm -hmm. no? So watch out for it. I'm still planning everything. Well, so it's maganda rin yung quarantine na to kasi Last year ko pa gusto gawin yung video. Yun lang ang naging busy. Mm -hmm. So I'll get back to me in a couple of months when may vlog na ako lumabas. But I'm feeling ko, mm -hmm. equipment-wise, uh, siguro for video, yung kailangan mo lang ng continuous light. Mm -hmm. Strong continuous light. Especially when you do slow motion, po, yung mga slow motion nagsasplash. Mm -hmm. I'm, I think you need a very strong LED or uh, light source yeah. kasi kailangan mas faster ang shutter speed mo mm -hmm. no? and you have to have uh, also small opening to capture that mm -hmm. so yun ang wala pa ako kasi I've been shooting photo for the longest time mm -hmm. so uh, I'll get back to you when I have a nice experience na with ano. yeah. I, I don't wanna say anything yet kasi hindi ko pa nagawa for, for, for photo uh, for photos naman, the equipments that I use when I shoot ano, are already uh, bigger studio lights. Mm -hmm. no? Mga strong studio lights. So it's more flexible if I need to uh, lower the power, strengthen the power, mm -hmm. mamalis na i-adjust. Mm -hmm. 
Um, there's another question from Manny C. What composition tips would you recommend to newbie food photographers? Sabi niya, I always struggle with arranging the different elements in the frame and always end up doing trial and error. <laughs> we feel... Okay. <laughs> Same as ano, you can start with rule of thirds. Uh, also, also say rule of thirds. No? If not, uh, I always want my photos to balance. Yeah. Let's go back to the magazine cover. Lang muna, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the pretzel shot. Mm -hmm. Ito. Yeah, they can they can see your okay, cursor, so, eh. so go ahead. Okay, so okay, number one, when I did the shoot, of course, yeah, maganda if kausap mo yung art director, because number one is we need to find out kung saan ilalagay yung text. Mm -hmm. There palang, so I know where to put my elements of food. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if wala? Let's say just photo. Okay? Kung napansin niyo kung saan si pretzel and saan yung drinks, mm -hmm. medyo naka-rule of third sila. Mm -hmm. Wala sila sa gitna, nasa gilid sila. And, nasa taas yung pretzel, upper left yeah. and lower can, right. Uh, Para may balance. Stan, Kasi uh, I'll everything naman, you, yes. uh, you can use your, your mouse to point to whatever okay. uh, element because they can see your mouse. Uh. Here, it's moving? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here, Kasi if, let's say, I put the pretzel here, masyadong one-sided. It feels heavy on the right side. If I put the drinks on this side, masyado. So I balance it out. I put this one here and then put this one here. Okay? So the, the blue shot naman, of course, I had to leave space here for the text. What if wala? Okay? So this is the main dish. Okay? How, paano namin binalance to? We put some elements there to balance it out. And then, of course, the plate to frame it. Uh, there are different ways to to frame. As if not, you can put other elements. Basta lang, let's say, to frame this shot mm -hmm. or put other elements here just to balance it out. Okay, so mm -hmm. later on, yung mga sinyot ko dito sa bahay, may, medyo may ginawa rin ako. Na I'll, I'll also discuss how, why I decided to put elements there. Sige. Uh, okay, Ed, from Edsel Acuna, sabi niya, uh, yung 35mm and 50mm, lenses are are they good for food and product photography again if ano yung ano yung okay if just the, again food again at 35 i think medyo may distortion na yun if you go close to the food mm -hmm. no there will be distortion na sa 50 i used 50 also when doing uh overhead and flat place mm -hmm. kasi kailangan mo mataas yeah. no uh but i think also when you Use the 50 to go close, yung mga foreground elements mo lumalaki. So, agaw attention yun. You know? So, mas maganda talaga if you have a longer lens for that. If yun yung purpose mo, it's just to focus on the food. Yeah. Plus, if if you use 50mm, if you shoot closer than 5 feet, may, may distortion na rin siya. May distortion yeah. na siya. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Eto, may magandang question si Mark Lester Accompanado. Sabi niya, is it necessary that you must know how to cook or at least to have minimal knowledge of the cooking process to be a good food photographer? <laughs> so, nagluluto ka ba, Sir Stan? Okay. Mahilig akong... Kumain. Kumain. <laughs> uh, I like eating and I like hustle. But, uh, okay, I don't cook. I don't know how to cook. No? Uh, itlog pwede. No? Boil ng water pwede. But cooking, no. Uh, I was just lucky enough na yung mga, uh, the teams that I had previously, yung mga food stylists, are willing to share naman. Mm -hmm. And then when I look, watch them work, I uh, ask, kaya importante to ask, bakit ginawa mo yan? And bakit ginawa mo to? Mm -hmm. uh, kasi they will, kung, alam mo na, mabait ka sa kanila, mabait din sila sa'yo. So, mm -hmm. I asked them, bakit ganito, ganito, and then they explained to me. Yeah. No? So, it, it, it's nice to work with a stylist. Or not, you can have, like, if you have a friend, a chef, mm -hmm. uh, marunong din yan sila. Although, compared to a stylist, paano magpapaganda? Yeah. You know? uh, mas may knowledge yung stylist. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lang, kain. Yeah, if, if I may give my, if I may give my five cents, uh, ako naman, I think, yung advantage ng kung marunong kang magluto. It's not the 
knowledge on cooking per se, but I think it's the knowledge on yung kung ano yung mga chemical uh, reactions na nangyayari, which you can apply in styling food. Yes. Na? Parang more yes. on that part siguro. Okay, um, Sir Stan, you said that you have some pictures that you wanted to show us nung mga, let's call it quarantine food pictures. <laughs> oh, hey, sige, uh, sige. Uh, ayun, kasi sabi ko, maybe baka after this quarantine, may bagong cookbook na ako. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, okay, so, styling-wise, my food, uh, mm-hmm. medyo, hindi naman siya ganun kamaganda yung styling kasi hindi naman ako Raong gamit, and then I'm not really a stylist. Mm-hmm. I try lang my best to adjust a little bit, make it look nice, and then whatever props I see dito, ginagamit ko. Yeah. No? Uh, so, let's go. Let's mess finish lang. Meron lang ako mga other slides na taposin before we go to those sample food. So, ito madalas ang team na co-work ko. Okay. No? The client, of course, you as the photographer, mm-hmm. the art director, food stylist. And guys, meron din yung what we call prop stylist. Yes. Kasi the food stylist, siya yung mag-handle ng food. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the prop stylist has to prepare everything na hindi magka mukhang pa ulit-ulit yung mga props na dala. So, I did a cookbook na daming dala ng prop stylist kasi we don't want the same look. You know, we don't want to repeat props. Medyo, may repeat kami ba? Hindi naman halata. Mm-hmm. So, also, that's what I did with dito sa ano. Kasi I only had one, I only have one background for all my shot dito sa quarantine field ko. But I added elements mm-hmm. na magmukhang hindi pare-parehas. No? So sometimes, isa lang to food stylist and prop stylist. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, uh, just watch out guys. Sometimes kasi wala talagang budget to have a food stylist mm-hmm. and prop stylist. So at least you have a small knowledge na you can also add na parang konting food stylist na skill na you can, you can apply naman. No. But be careful kasi baka maging abusado din yung client na ikaw na lahat. No? Mahirap yun na ikaw lahat. No? So watch out for that. Okay, so again, equipment doesn't make you a better mm-hmm. photographer. Yeah. Don't have to have high-end equipment to have come out. So I'll show you later. I use flashlight lang. Mm-hmm. Ganda yung lumabas. And invest in yourself. Mm-hmm. Kailangan palagi kayo nag-aaral no, even even though I I've been doing kids shooting food or kids for the longest time, I still go over people's work, uh, look at it, study it, and then apply it on my own, mm-hmm. on my shoots. So, so ano yung mga photography equipments? Okay, so for during quarantine, okay. so ito yon. So again, guys, uh, when you do shoots, kung, especially when you're practicing, mm-hmm. uh, take, take different angles. Mm-hmm. Zoom in, zoom out, tilt your camera, tilt to the side, and then tingnan nyo ano yung mas effective for you guys. No? Mm-hmm. So like this one, I did a vertical and horizontal shot. I also did uh, parang ipang Instagram square. Hindi ko nalang ginamit. Kasi mas gusto ko tong shots na to. Mm-hmm. So for this shot, for this shoot, it looks like galing window lighting. Mm-hmm. No? But it's not. It was with show and tell now, guys. Huh? Yeah. Just using a small speed light. And, of course, paano ko naging, bakit, tatanong nyo bakit, all my soft all my soft boxes as nasa kabila so wala akong soft box dito i only have this so paano ko ginawa maging soft no so how did i make a small speed light to become a big light source so swerte ako may naligaw dito na illustration board and there you go yan lang mm-hmm. nice. so mahal na to no nice. may experience na to na mm-hmm. illustration board I'll be selling this online. <laughs> My discount. Huh? Look out what did I do? Bilisan mo so I got baka this. Ng tatay ko. <laughs> Yan. Okay? Yeah. Dahil to kay Sir Derek, kahit ano pwede gamitin, gamitin nyo. So, I bounced it off this bo- illustration board mm-hmm. and yun yung, yun yung outcome nakikita nyo with the food. Yeah. Cool. Yun lang. Ganun lang. Ganun lang ka-easy. Okay, okay. 
on the other side, bucket, bucket may ano. So you can use either just bond paper or anything white to bounce off light on the other side as a reflector. Yeah. So yun lang yun. Okay, so here again, I added elements to make it balance, di ba? So nakita niyo sa upper left, nandiyan yung tray. And then, the long cups here, the long cups of coffee, just to balance it out. Kasi kung wala to, medyo heavy dito, blank lang dito, walang anything nangyari. Yeah. Now, if I just shoot just the dish, parang walang story. So, mm -hmm. I wanted to have a story na pwede siya. Ito, this uh, biscotti, ba to? Biscotti? Biscotti, Tama ba? yeah. It's really to pair with black coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, so, okay. yeah, nilagay ko sila dyan. Of course, dalawa para sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi pwede isa lang eh. So, ginawa kong dalawa. Yeah. So, yun. And then, okay, pansinin nyo lang to guys, itong placemat to eh. Yung wooden placemat to. Yung wooden na texture. And then, of course, I just look for anong fabric dito sa bahay yeah. to use as para dito. So, yun. So, that's number one. Okay, you can try that out no? if you have a speed light. If not, guys, you can actually do this with window lighting lang. Hindi ko lang ma-set up dun malapit sa window kasi magulo walang space. So I just did it like this. Okay, question on this setup? Wala? Mukhang wala pa. They're enjoying it. Sige. Just go ahead, sir. Okay. So gawin nyo yan. Pwede, ha? If you have a speed light, you can play around. Okay. Next. Again, next photo. Pansin mo, it's still the wooden placemat that I use. Nilagayin ko lang or may mga oranges. Okay guys, take your vitamin C in time <laughs> of this crisis. Kailangan daw vitamin C. Kaya may orange kami sa bahay. Mm -hmm. So what I use is, okay, so meron akong, kaya nakakontrol ko yung opening, yung ito lang, mm -hmm. yung ilaw nito, mm -hmm. because I was using a small barn door, you know? a small attachment, where is it, na pwede ko i-attach sa aking speed light. Yeah. There you go. It's a cute, cute barn door, so I can control kung gusto kong Ang cute, cute naman yan! Maliit yeah. lang. Yes, so for speed light. So small lang, or gusto mo lakihan, so depend, depend on the you can experiment. Mm -hmm. Mas mag kaya nga maganda if you shoot on your you can experiment. Yeah, Ayan, maliit. Huh? So I can attach this to my speed light. Yeah. Sir, paano kung wala akong speed light? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No budget paniyan. Wala, oh, no, walang walang not speed light. Wala akong yes, wala akong speed light and wala akong barn, barn door. door. Huh? Illustration board again. Yes. If gusto niyo, go bring out near the window. Use this. Sabihin nyo lang dalawa. Uh, I don't have. Let's use this one. Magulo. Sabihin nyo lang dalawang registration board. Tapos dito yung light source or speed light mo. Dito, just open and close. Ganun lang. Yeah. Huh? Hindi kailangan may barn door ka. So you can, you can use that to come out with something like this as well. Baka okay. after so, yun ito, lang. That's, mahal that's na ang, after siguro nito, mahal na ang illustration board sa mga bookstore. Yes, mahal na to For sale to ha, after quarantine. Kasi, grabe experience na nito. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, you can go ahead, sir. Okay, so again, uh, no, okay, so of course, if you have kids that like to keep them busy, Mm -hmm. bake mo sila. So, my kids bake cookies. One day, nag-bake sila. So, I added all the elements here just to balance things out. Mm -hmm. Kasi, yung cookies ko, it's really big. Yeah. So, if walang element dyan, medyo ito lang, pwede rin, but I wanted to show them na magulo, kids are doing it, so medyo magulo yung kinilatag ko. Mm -hmm. Again, I was still using the same background, but nilagyan ko lang more teflas. Mm -hmm. Hindi siya nakikita. And then, nilagyan ko lang, of course, kids, uh, cookies and milk. Huh? So, ganun lang din. This is also, I think, bounce. Mm -hmm. Binounce ko lang against the illust uh, sa illustration board ko. Mm -hmm. So, same as this. If napansin nyo, 
from this photo to this photo, mm-hmm. yung ila mas highlight nandito. Yeah. Huh? Compared to this one. Why? Simple. Binaba ko lang yung light source ko. Mm-hmm. Uh, gusto ko lang may highlight. Uh, mm-hmm. Parang araw lang din bumaba. Yeah. No? Uh, you can play around with play around with your uh, I've also noticed yung mga paguhan lang din or na hindi sanay sa light. Instead of moving the light, sila ang gumagalaw. <laughs> no? No. Try also moving the light. Yeah. No? Stay in one place and then move the light around. No? So ito, mahilig ako niyan. When I was doing, I was trying to look for a nice lighting for this one. Ginalaw ko pa, inikot ko pa yung ilaw. Inikot ko pa yung ilaw to show ano yung, ito, ito yung final na nakita ko na nagustuhan ko. Okay? And a sample na I move the light at the back is this next shot. Ayun. So it's medyo backlit na siya. And this is, I'll give you a little bit styling tip. Uh, leftover to, so konti na lang to. No? So paano nagmukhang puno pa rin siya. So there's another bowl under this. No, sopas. No, so actually, konting-konti lang yung so- sopas. Tanggalin ko konti dito, makita mo na yung bowl under it. If gusto mo makita, tapos lumalabas yung mga elements, you can do that. No? It's a it's a styling trick din na magbukhang puno yung yung uh, uh, noodles or sopas or soup mo. So you can also, maganda yung may bowl sa taas, so you can put element here nicely. No, is pwede mo siya style. Kasi kung wala, lulubog agad yun eh. So this is a nice trick that you can try. A smaller bowl inside a bowl. The next, okay. Oh wait, anong ginamit ko for this one? Ah, still the same. It's the illustration board that binounce ko lang. Okay. The next shot. Oh, quarantine ba ako? Wow. <laughs> Parang, ako nga eh. <laughs> Parang fiesta dyan eh. <laughs> eh, mga left over. Ito, ito, ito. Is, ano, ito yung mga natatira na naging kailangan ka ilutuin kasi yeah. tanggal sa printer. Okay, let me just put this aside. Okay. So, afternoon light. Mm-hmm. Right? Mukhang afternoon light. But, if you know, if you know how to play with shadows mm-hmm. and highlights, and the light source ko was just this one. Mm-hmm. It's just a flashlight. No? So, pwede rin. If you have a flashlight there, pwede niyang uh, sino bang walang ginagawa. Maraming walang ginagawa sa bahay. Tawagin mo yung mga kasama mo dyan. Pahawakan mo ng ilaw. Tapos galaw-galaw, pagalaw-galaw mo na lang. Yeah. No? So, this is just with a speed light. No, with a flashlight. Mm-hmm. And paano ko ginawa yung shadow? Mm-hmm. Of course, nang mumulit ako sa kusina. Ito lang yan. Yeah. Huh? So this, in between the food mm-hmm. and the flashlight, light source, mm-hmm. not with, oops, delay. There you go, see? Yeah. Meron na akong shadow. And then I can control the position of the shadow. Mm-hmm. Ano lang yan. Huh? And maganda yung mga flashlight na ganito kasi you can ito na sa sarili ko you can adjust yung focusing niya kung maliit ito malaki maliit ito malaki again sino nag-introduce dito sa akin dad mo <laughs> sabi ko na eh nabentahan ka ng flashlight shout out to no? Sir Jerry <laughs> ha? sa flashlight na to yeah so nag-shopping ako na pwede mag-zoom and zoom in zoom out okay yeah. so paano ko ginamit to okay so next shot Mm-hmm. focus lang siya. Mm-hmm. So, same screen and mas focus lang yung mas focus lang yung light. Mm-hmm. So, yun. So, yeah. play around and then look at the placemat. It's the wooden placemat. Mm-hmm. And on top is uh, on the background is pinatayo ko lang yung isa. So, mm-hmm. mini studio na ako. Mm-hmm. Yun lang. Wow. You can play around. Your mm-hmm. questions? Uh, ah, guys, yeah. ito lang. Ito rin. Ginamit ko rin pala to once. Mm-hmm. 
wala naman ginag wala naman gamit yung kotse niya ngayon di ba may mga kotse kaya <laughs> oh, mga sun shield niyo pwede yeah. I got this kasi maganda is kasi madalas is black and white or silver lang eh yes. kasi ito is silver on one side mm-hmm. white on the other side mm-hmm. no so if I want stronger harsher ba- light itong ginagamit ko na side yeah. and maganda nito malaki eh yeah. oh, laki oh mm-hmm. so Mag-shopping na kayo sa car accessory store. Yeah, or, or bili ka ng kotse, tapos sabihin mo, i-free na lang yung reflector nila, no? Yes. <laughs> bili uh, ka ng kotse. Mas imp- or bili ka niya, tapos free yung kotse. Yeah. <laughs> Sana nga. Wow. So, um, your, I think what I got from this was, uh, if you're just resourceful enough, so, tambay ka sa kitchen, tambay ka, hanap ka sa bahay mo ng mga anything that can uh, help you produce uh, good shadow effects. And then, you can use natural light or artificial light source as your uh, light source. So, hindi kailangan correct, correct. na uh, bumili ka talaga ng flash. Especially if, um, like, kunyara, you're just, you're practicing your creativity. But actually, uh, even for commercial uses, we do use we use uh, natural light also for I know, diba? Mga, for magazines, ganyan. So it really doesn't matter what the equipment is if you to to take yes. uh, good pictures. Yes, if you just learn how to look at light, no? Yes. Uh, let's say okay, you have to understand also light. Let's say the morning light, uh, late afternoon. Uh, Late morning light, mm-hmm. avail- sun- we're talking about sunlight, huh? mm-hmm. uh, late afternoon uh, or mid, mid-afternoon, mm-hmm. iba yung temperature nila, iba yung cooler nila. Mm-hmm. No? So, kaya nga maganda if you know how to use, to learn all this, para alam mo mm-hmm. paano sila i-maximize. Yeah. Okay, I, we have... Let's uh, say, okay, on this side, example mm-hmm. lang, one more. Sige, go ahead. Uh, okay, this one, I will show you. Diba? Yeah. You can use that. You can use the lamp sa bahay niyo. Mm-hmm. This is medyo warm. Mm-hmm. No? And then we were talking about earlier na kailangan tama yung kulay ng mm-hmm. food. Just adjust your white balance to get the actual color of the food. So, pwede yun. Yeah. No? So, Good. Uh, yeah, very important for me to understand. Mm-hmm. Mate, uh, Manny C is asking, does PCCI have courses on uh, food or prop styling? Well, uh, I'll answer that. Uh, right okay. now, uh, actually in the near future, no, uh, we're going to uh, offer that also. Uh, but right now, in the food photography class, uh, uh, dalawa instructors dun eh. So that's Stanley Ong and with uh, Mark Floro. Um, food styling, merong hapyaw, no? Nagpapakita kayo ng food styling sa, yes. sa class na um, Part Part of the class is may we invite uh, food stylists to to show students yes. to show the students paano sila mag style and then they'll also give tips nila on how to style they'll also teach you how to style and then mm-hmm. in front of you guys they will demonstrate mm-hmm. how they will style a food a dish yes. no? a couple of dishes two to three dishes and then we shoot those dishes yes. so maganda yun maganda yun one of the classes that you teach at PCCI is professional food photography. What can they expect in this class? Okay. Uh, magand, uh, this is one of the classes na na-ingarded talaga ako. It's because mm-hmm. of the hands-on. Mm-hmm. Huh? Uh, I'm, uh, how Mark Floro did it way, way back, mm-hmm. I apply it to my class kasi ang ganda ng pag set up ni Sir Mark. You get mm-hmm. to have to, to shoot different light sources the whole the, or it's a two-day class no mm-hmm. so you get to try out different light sources na available sa, sa classroom mm-hmm. uh, I'll be bringing also my own to show mm-hmm. you how I shoot so it's not just hand uh, it's not just me demonstrating mm-hmm. you can apply what you learn agad agad on those two days yes. and ask question right away and if make problems I will teach you how to correct it and stuff like that um, and styling also. So if, if they want to get in touch with you or if they want to follow you, can you share your uh, social okay. media accounts para to sa mga uh, they want to see your 
shot. Yeah. All right. Wait. Okay. So, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Stand on photog in my Instagram page. Uh, this one, stand sharing space. Okay, guys. Sino na nood niya yun? You can add yourself there. Yeah. I started that page for specifically for students, for participants of my talks. Mm -hmm. uh, ngayon, pinablik ko lang siya for now. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, uh, for everybody naman. I want to share it for everybody, especially now na lahat na sa bahay. Mm -hmm. So I put it in public. So you can add yourself there. I'll accept you. Mm -hmm. And then, YouTube channel, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. May goal ako na sana abot ako ng 1,000 subscribers this year. Nasa 100 pa lang ako. <laughs> Kasi wala pang content. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm building my videos pa. No, mm -hmm. I have a new video team. Um, kaya sabi ko, okay, si Kip yung kanina, no? Yes. Na I'll, I'll develop my video and then part of it is food photography. Yeah. Kids photography and food photography and also tips and tricks, I'm gonna put it that down in my YouTube channel. Hopefully, okay. matapos na tong quarantine na to. Yeah. Alright, um, may isang pahabol na question. Si Edsel Acuna, he says, In all your shoots, do you use Lightroom or Photoshop in color editing or lahat po ba yan straight out of your camera? Okay, um, if, if I want to tether my shot, I use Lightroom. Mm -hmm. no? So all my shots, diretso sa Lightroom. Uh, but if wala, I... All my photos still pass through Lightroom, no? Mm -hmm. So from there, this is where we choose. Mm -hmm. uh, what's nice about food photography, kasi hindi na gumagalaw yung food. Mm -hmm. So if you frame it right, mm -hmm. no? If you frame it right, uh, example lang yung Rustan's magazine namin, mm -hmm. shoot to layout yun. Yeah. We shoot, tapos nandun yung artist, bigay ko yung photos, layout niya agad yun, mm -hmm. no? So it's important to get it right now in the camera, in cam, in cam in the first place. Mm -hmm. If we, I need to tweak, uh, I just adjust. If I need more saturation and stuff like that, I use mm -hmm. Lightroom. Very minimal lang when it comes to food, because nandyan yung stylist to correct it. Eh. Yes. So let's say may konting I use in pinapa I use ko na sa stylist at uh, two second flick of a uh, parang part of the crumbs mm -hmm. than editing sa Lightroom. Mas mabilis yung two seconds if you flick lang ng stylist. Yes. Then bringing it to Photoshop, I use it and then bring it back, no? Yes. So, if you can do it in cam, better. Yes. Kaya maganda if you have a nice team na patient with you. Yeah. No? Kasi, if gusto mo ayusin, matagal. Ayusin mo na in cam. Um, I think, okay. if, if I may add, no, um, some people, or siguro yung mga next start sa photography, uh, meron silang, ano ba, parang may bad reputation yung editing uh, sa kanila. But uh, I think people need to understand that, uh, e especially during the film days, uh, post-processing or editing has always been a part of photography. So, yes. uh, ngayon lang, ang difference lang is ngayon digital. But even during the film days, actually, dun nanggaling yung karamihan ng terms that you see in, in tools that you see in Photoshop. It's from the uh, film days pa. Uh, I think now digital age has only made it more convenient to edit photos. The thing is, especially if you're doing this as a job, so you, you, if you're paid by uh, per project, now regardless of how long you you shoot it, uh, you want to be practical. So parang kesa pagcagaan mo during the shoot, kaya na may isang element, no? E, e kung pwede mo naman siyang i-edit, and that's more practical, in, because time is money, de ba? So, you you use technology to your advantage. For example, yung pinakita ni Sir Stan na yung donut na naka, nasa ere, di ba yung nakasabit na ganun? You said that uh, nakatali siya. Uh, and then, you yes. just use Photoshop to edit it out. Kesa, mano-mano uh, nyo tinatapon yung donut, hit or miss, that will waste uh, a lot of time in the during the production. Yes, and the lighting is tama na. For yes. both, for the both, yes. The drinks and the stamina lighting. You don't have to, because if ma adjust me ilo pag dugtongin mo, bakak iba yung itsura, yeah. iba yung direction ng lights. Mm -hmm. no? So maganda yun. One shot na lang, kunin mo lahat, do it na right in cam. Yeah. Right. So again, guys, thank you very much for uh, watching. If you have, if you want to know more about PCCI's offering. Uh, you can go to pcci.com.ph 
um, and then follow us. Uh, I hope you're already following us on Facebook. Uh, we also have an Instagram account. And then uh, currently in the works is the uh, PCCI or Philippine Center for Creative Imaging YouTube channel. So go ahead and subscribe there also. Um, please support uh, all uh, our instructors' activities also, especially ngayong naka quarantine tayo. A lot there are a lot of FB lives no by different uh, creatives sa ibat ibang industries. So please, uh, you know, grab that opportunity. Keep learning, continue learning even during this uh, time. So, uh, Sir Stan, do you have any last words for our viewers? Ah, uh, okay. Ito lang, last card ko. Slide. Mm -hmm. So, guys, if if you want to go into this genre, ito yung advice ko is uh, learn the basic of photography by heart. Mm -hmm. no? Developing skills of observation and research mm -hmm. no? and learn to see light. Yan lang ang ano ko, advice to you guys. Pwede nyo gawin yan ngayon. Again, may maraming online ngayon. Nag-online ngayon ng mga instructors. So, uh, look for them. Mm -hmm. And most of all, stay safe, guys. Yeah. Yeah, stay safe. Ah, huwag masyadong magala. Minsan-minsan yeah. <laughs> lang to. Hindi naman to every, ano. Uh, uh, so, let's help the government. Yeah. This is the, this is the worst time to be positive in the wrong things. No? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay. So anyway, thank you very much, Sir Stan. Uh, magkikita pa tayo uh, online ulit, no? Sana soon. Uh, also, for everyone, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for joining us. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like uh, button and please share this to your friends. Uh, again, I'm Dale Derry, joined in by uh, Sir Stan Leong there. And this has been PCCI Anywhere. Stay at home, stay safe, and stay healthy. We'll see you next week. Bye! Bye!